Hello and welcome to the Northern Sound and Lights YouTube channel. I'm Dwayne with ElectroVoice here to introduce the new ElectroVoice 10P, ETX 12P, and ETX 15P. All three models have a 2000 watt power amp. The boxes all have the heavy duty grill, the heavy duty uh, finish to resist from scratching. We also have fly points built on the tops and sides of the box. And we also have two pole mounts one at zero degrees and one at 7.5 degrees so that you can get a downward angle on the box. It's also a solid metal handle for carrying. You'll notice that the 10, 12, and 15 all have a 90 by 60 horn pattern. They also have a 40 degree monitor angle. So if you're standing relatively close to the front of the wedge, it is at the proper angle for uh, your height adjustment. The heart of the ETX powered speakers is actually the DSP built into the unit. Basically, if you notice on here, we do have a large LCD window. There's an input level meter over here on the side showing your, your level input of your two inputs. They are mic and line level. We go through the menu, you'll notice the first is a function, which we can actually set for music, live, or speech. Next menu location down is actually the location of the speaker itself, whether it's mounted on a tripod, whether it's actually set up as a floor monitor, wall mounted, or suspended. Next menu down is actually the subwoofer option. And this right now the subwoofer high pass is set for off. You have adjustments for 80 hertz, 100 hertz, 120, 150, and also a preset for the 15 inch and 18 inch ETX powered subs. We have three bands of parametric room EQ, completely adjustable. And again, we have 6 dB of boost and 12 dB of cut on each one of those frequency bands. Going down further, we do have delay built in. We do have 1,125 feet of delay available in the box. If you're using this for a rear delay for a main sound system, it's very, very easy to set for that. If we go into the options page, you'll notice the front light on the LEDs. We have the option of turning that on, turning that off, or having it set that it will only light up whenever it's actually showing a limit on the box itself. Measurement can be set for feet or meters. We can actually turn the backlight, we can dim that down, change the contrast, and actually dim the display. There's a feature for locking out the back panel, so once the engineer has set the cabinet to the way he would like it, he can lock that back panel so somebody can mess with it, and also a factory reset that will take the box back to factory settings. EV has introduced what's called SST technology, which is signal synchronized transducers. The idea of this is the integration between the waveguide and the port to actually optimize the quality of sound for such a compact speaker. If you notice, the, the waveguide is actually placed forward in the closure to help time align with the rear of the driver on the woofer. This helps time align the actual drivers physically within the box. The heart of the ETX loudspeakers is the amplifier design. It is a Class D amplifier that does have power factor correction built into it. There is limiting for both thermal and for audio distortion. It's using the same exact algorithms as the EV IrisNet, which is the processing used for their larger line array speakers. The DSP of the ETX loudspeakers is designed around the FIR drive system. This was developed for the larger line array systems by EV using the IrisNet software. Basically what this allows is that you get extremely tight slopes around the crossover points. This is a very, very smooth transition between the woofer and the horn patterns. Also available in the ETX line are two models of subwoofers. We have the ETX 15SP and the ETX 18SP, both of them with 1800 watt power amplifiers. Digital processing built into this as well for crossover points and also for a feature that is only known in this particular subwoofer at this point. Cardioid subwoofer arrays have been around for some time, but never in a self-powered box. The idea with the ETX subwoofer design in the cardioid pattern is the fact that we could take one woofer facing forward, one subwoofer facing backwards, and with the processing built in the box, we can actually make a cardioid subpattern which can reduce the low end frequency behind the box down 30 dB. Again, the ETX product family, in addition to the two subwoofers, is the ETX 10P, ETX 12P, ETX 15P, all two-way boxes, and then ETX 35P, which is a three-way 15-inch box.
The ETX loudspeaker line is available here at Northern Sound and Light. Thank you for joining us.